How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to go over a specific function with the Brother QL1110 NWB. This Brother QL1110 NWB, which is actually sold out on Amazon. If you don't believe me, check the link in the description and it'll probably be sold out or people are selling it for $400 because it's normally sold out. I wanna go over a question that I've gotten frequently and I literally just got one an hour ago by Elise QB Official. She says, I subscribed, you're so helpful. Well, thank you, Elise. Oh, and I was wondering, I have an iPhone 11 Max. Can I connect my iPhone personal hotspot Wi-Fi to this printer? And then can I connect Bluetooth from my phone to this printer also? Sorry for asking too much. I wanted to double check before you buy it. Well, good luck buying it because it's sold out most places. And if you can find it online for 279, buy it because that would be amazing because you can't really find it anywhere right now. I don't think you can do what you're asking, but you can connect to the printer via your phone because the printer emits a hotspot and you can do it that way, but not directly through Bluetooth and not directly through your phone. And I'm actually going to show you how to do this in this video. So before we get into the solution, if you guys haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about this printer at any time during the tutorial, put it in the comment section. I'll try my best to get back to you with a solution. But let's take a look at this printer. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to print with no network. Here we have the printer, here we have an iPad. You can do this with any iOS device. So let it be an iPad, an iPhone. You can even do it with a MacBook. Printer is on, labels are loaded, dropped in there correctly underneath the sensor. Top is closed. I'm going to press this wireless button and that is going to activate the internal wireless signal that this printer has. And now this thing is emitting a wireless signal that we're going to connect to on our iPad. So here we are on the iPad, we're going to go to settings. The network you're going to look for is called direct some numbers and then QL1110 NWB. Those numbers are the last five digits of your serial. See how it says 77899 at the bottom of the printer. As you can see, my serial number, last five digits, 77899. So your last five are gonna be different than mine. We're gonna click on that network. The password is 111 and then the last five digits. So mine was 77899. Hit join and it should connect directly to the printer, hence why it's called Wi-Fi Direct. I got the check mark next to that. So we are directly connected to this printer now. I'm gonna go from a test print that I have at www.fulfilledmerchant.com uh, and then I'm gonna go to this little square in the top right there, scroll down to print, go to printer, and it should have a brother there. And then I'm going to hit print. It's going to send the signal directly to the printer. And as you can see, we printed our label. It would be the same process on a MacBook Pro. Ideally, you're gonna wanna do this from a phone that still has internet to download your labels through that connection. And then you're gonna use the Wi-Fi direct connection to print if you're in a warehouse or a storage unit or, or someplace where you don't have access to a network. That's the simple tutorial. If you didn't know how to do it, you wouldn't know how to do it. So hopefully this video was helpful for those who do have a Brother QL1110 NWB and Elise, hopefully that somewhat answers your question. You can't use it with Bluetooth, but you can use it with Wi-Fi Direct. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.